We all use plastic every day. It's in everything from plastic to car parts. But our history of plastic use is surprisingly short. Let's see the past and predict the future of plastic. Nineteen o seven, synthetic plastic is invented for the first time. Nineteen forty seven, first commercial use of a plastic bottle. Nineteen fifty, patenting of the nylon fish net. Nineteen fifty one, a Lysan albatross named Wisdom hatches on Midway Atoll in the Pacific Ocean. She has no way of knowing what is about to change on her island. Nineteen fifty seven. Invention of bubble wrap, 1959, the first plastic grocery bag. Over the next years, plastic started to accumulate everywhere. A little at first, then more. Plastic takes hundreds of years to break down, so almost all the plastic ever made is still here. A lot of it floats. And because albatross eat at the ocean's surface, they started to eat plastic. 1988, the Pacific Garbage Patch is first described in a paper. The ocean's currents mean that anything floating in the North Pacific Ocean, like plastic, will collect here near Midway, where Wisdom and the other Lysan albatross raise their chicks. Plastic production accelerated. 2020, Wisdom hatched her estimated 37th chick. It is estimated that several tons of plastic are fed to Lysan albatross chicks each year. Now let's turn the clock forward and see what the future may bring. 2050, if nothing changes, there may be more plastic in the ocean than fish. 99% of seabirds will have ingested plastic. Midway's beaches are mountains of plastic that wash up each day from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The ocean is better for some kinds of life, but much, much worse for the other things that live here. That's grim, but that's also the path we're on right now. Having seen this future, let's see a different one and see how we might do things differently. Twenty fifty. Midway is almost clean now. Humans changed plastic in several small ways that made big differences. A cultural shift away from expensive upgrade cycles led to demand for more durable, better-made products that would last. A machine-readable label system on all plastic parts made it more economical to sort and reuse plastic. And small-scale plastic recycling businesses led to an economic incentive. For people to save and collect rather than discard plastic, and several plastic cleanup projects helped remove the plastic from land, rivers, and oceans. If you want to help steer the world toward the better future, the best thing that you can do is to replace disposable items with more durable ones, and to pressure companies to move away from single-use plastics. To clean up the mess that we've already made, you can support projects like Team Seas. They're doing a massive plastic cleanup around the world. For every one dollar that's donated, they're removing one pound of plastic that would have ended up in the ocean or going out in the ocean to clean it up directly. Their goal is to remove 30 million pounds of plastic, but more importantly, to remind people of the dangers of cheap disposable plastic items. You can click on the link in the description to donate. Anything that you do will help to improve the lives of birds like Wisdom on Midway. Before you head off to make a donation, you can subscribe to keep learning what makes life awesome.